Hello, this is easy, and this is a little tip about the Q remesher. All right, and uh, we're going to do some uh, free subdivision here in just a second. And you ever uh, freeze the subdivision level and it reprojects back, and it might clip, uh, let's say if you had a character, the ears might not project back right, or something might not project back right. The reason why is because the polygons are not distributed even. If they're kind of long and some are not even, well, then it's a good chance it'll mess up. Now, I can convert this into a Dynamesh. Well, that'll even it up quite a bit. But the only problem with the Dynamesh is if I have a shirt or something, well, the Dynamesh will close holes. And if I have a shirt, I don't want to close a hole. All right, now, if I had a shirt and I wanted to even out the... the uh, polygons quite a bit then I would use a Z plugin then I would use a decimation master and decimate it and make sure my decimation is real high where I still have a lot of polygons and when it decimates they will kind of distribute evenly so um, I'm not even going to go in that part I'm going to show you a little demonstration what would happen all right auto mask is your best friend here and anything that's symmetrical you always want to have on your uh, Symmetry here with your X key here cursor on both sides so let's see what would happen if I um, divide this then I freeze it all right then I'm gonna go ahead and uh, leave this everything at default and key remeshes and I'm gonna be probably pausing the video every time I key remesh because it does take a little bit of time so I'll pause the video then we get something ugly like this. So if I unfreeze it, it's supposed to project it back to the original one here. Then we get this right here. And if you got a character, sometimes it clips the ears off. It depends on certain things, especially the, uh, the polygon counts. And it doesn't project back right. The reason why, well, one reason why, I'm not going to say the reason, is because it's still trying to find these... Um, polygons and there's none here in the middle because they're not just or anywhere in this top because it's not distributed even all right let's control Z this back so how can we kind of uh, make this a little bit more even or a little bit more polygons in here well we're at subdivision 2 let's crank this up well actually the higher you go the better off you don't want to max it out you want to get very close. Then once you get very close, three is going to be good enough for now. Then we're going to delete lower. This is going to put more polygons here. The reason why you don't want to max it out is because you at least want to have, you want to at least give it another subdivision. And if you max it out and try to subdivide it again, you're going to get an error. So we're going to divide it. Then we're going to freeze it here. We're going to leave everything back at default, and we're going to try it again. And you can see it's looking a lot better this time. All right, still a little bumpy here, is because we reprojected it back. So we're gonna freeze this, and it's gonna reproject it back to the original state, and voila, it looks really good. All right, so let's go into the next step. Let's control this back a little bit here and the reason why this works good is because when you delete this subdivision level it's trying to find these polygons not the big long ones as I had earlier like this okay that's why you want to delete the um, not de delete the polygons but delete the lower or whatever I had here so let's say I kind of like it boxy and sharp edge here and I want to kind of keep that well what we need to do is we need to turn off smooth let's turn on the polyframes and we're going to divide it and divide it then we're going to delete the lower so we can uh, have more polygons and that's is what I want right here so um, I need to divide it one more time this one more time this but I'm going to freeze this I'm hoping you're following along so once I freeze this, this this will 
let me project it back to the original state this boxy and hard shape here so let's key remeshes as you can see it looks pretty bad there I mean it's kind of uh, really screwed up but once I unfreeze this back here now voila I'm getting a hard shape in that facet look and it is all quads so that's a pretty good that looks pretty good to me at least okay I pause the video and I'm gonna go on the next step here and what we're gonna do is we're going to duplicate this we're using that in case something screws up and usually if you got your target polygon counts too low things will screw up so we're gonna repeat the process I don't want any smooth on I want to keep this shape I'm gonna divide it and divide it and divide it don't want to go to the max then I'm gonna delete the lower this is gonna give us some more polygons right here I'll give it one more subdivision and freeze it so if we go to if this is this is all right here if we go too low too low this is where it usually will mess up when we unfreeze it but we always want to go low as we can that's the purpose of key remission or this is typically what I would do so basically we want to make sure our X symmetry is on with X key and auto mask and key remeshes and we get something like that so if we unfreeze this and we get something kind of bumpy like that let's clear the mask and we look at the polygon counts a little over 4,000 and it's like 500 let's go ahead and we project all let's crank that there we get something like that control Z that let's give this some subdivision level DD Control D I meant project all then you can see how this uh, starting to take shape we got some more subdivision levels here's a little demonstration with the demo head alright I'm going to show you some things that would cause things to screw up so if we was to freeze this now if we left auto mask off okay uh, we're gonna set this the lowest one right now is 3592 we'll just set this one to number four would be 4,000 or somewhere around there okay uh, we're gonna leave the auto mask off all right well the auto mask off it's not going to try and find in the peak and valley and usually the peak and valley is like real sharp areas like where the ears the insert around the eyes the nose nostrils anywhere that's not smooth so if we unfreeze this all right you can see it chopped the ear off and didn't project very good down here all right, there's two reasons why they did this. Well, actually, there's probably more than two reasons. Is one, the target polygon count is too low. Uh, if I had the auto mask on, it would pick up a lot of detail in this high uh, peak area, and it would try filling this in and help me out quite a bit. Let's control Z this. And another thing is the polygon distributed down here in the neck area where it didn't project is because they're a little bit wide or there might be a different problem control Z this back so if we want to fix that um, we're going to delete the low and that way it's going to tighten up these polygons and we're going to turn on the auto mask okay and uh, then we're going to key remesh this at this, you know this one here before I do that I want to subdivide it one more time we're gonna freeze this 
All right. And we're going to key remesh this. Uh, if you turn the auto mask on, it's pretty much a no-brainer. This thing will help you out. There might be some reason why you don't want to have it on. But typically, if uh, I was you, I would always have this on by default. All right, let's uh, unfreeze this here and see what we get. Remember, we had an ear problem. It was chopping, and the, right down here, the neck hair wasn't projected. All right, if we clear this, um, you can see everything's back to normal. Everything's working great. So that's just kind of a little tip there.